guys, this is Jackie, your nerdy crafter. I love Disney. Not to mention that I'll cry at almost every scene. But staying away from crying, I absolutely love Hey Hey and Disney's new Moana. I have a soft spot for weird chickens. And so for this week's tutorial, I will show you guys how to make your very own Hey Hey phone case. The fun thing about this phone case is that his eyes are actually squishy. They are made out of foam and you can poke them all you want. They will fit easily into any of your pockets or your purse because it is compactable. I found myself poking the eyes a little more often than I wanted. If you cry easily in Disney movies, let me know which scene in what movie really gets your tears jerking. Let me know in the comment section below. For those of you new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. There are plenty of geeky tutorials to keep you entertained. For a chance to win this phone case, wait until the end of the video. Don't skip because that would really not be cool. Here's what you'll need for this project. Green, yellow, red, and white polymer clay. All these are from Sculpey. White foam or a sponge. Rounded pointy tool and a cutter. Purple chalk pastel. And a phone case of your choice. The first thing we're going to do is trace the phone case on paper and cut it out. Now sketch the eyes first and then the rest of the face and neck. flatten a piece of red and cut it to the shape of the face and comb part. I'm using a piece of wax paper between the paper and the clay. Then you're going to do the beak by making a wide U shape and placing it on top of another piece to cut them together. Now take your red again and cut the lower part of the face shape. Once that's done, cut the neck with a slim piece of yellow. Make some lines for the feather. And then you're going to add the beak to the red part with Liquid Sculpey if you have. Flatten a piece of white really thin and place it where the eyes would go so that it hides any imperfections on the foam part when we get there. Shave some chalk pastel and shade underneath the eyes. If you don't have chalk pastel, you can also use acrylic paint to do a dry brush. Go ahead and add any details that are missing. If you want to add some gradient on the feathers, go ahead and use chalk pastels or Perlex powders. And then you're going to pre-bake it for 10 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure that your oven was preheated. You don't have to pre-bake it, but since I'm clumsy, I prefer to do so. Now take your sponge or foam and your scissors and cut them down to an oval shape. It's kind of like sculpting, but with a fluffier material. Once you cut out both eyes, flatten a piece of green or any other color polymer clay. I'm using teal pearl from Sculpey and place it as the background. Now you're going to bake it for 30 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure that your oven was preheated. Once baked, glue it on your phone case. I used E6000. and then glue the eyes with a glue gun and paint on the eyes with a black acrylic paint. I wanted to show you guys one of my most recent favorite things to wear around the house, even if Pat's not crazy about it. This cute onesie is super high quality from a website called Kigurumi. It is super wide and it, they do pretty much have them one size fits all, so it gives you a lot of breathing space. They have all kinds of animals and licensed character on their website. I got the cat from Monster Hunter. 
check the description box below for all the links. And of course, let me know which one is your favorite animal. They have a pretty big selection. All done. If you're here until now, that means you're a pretty awesome person. If you want a chance to win this phone case, all you have to do is subscribe, leave a like, and leave a comment in the comment section below. Full details on how to participate are in the description box below. Please make sure that you do read it. This phone case is for an iPhone 6. If you have suggestions for future geeky tutorials, leave them in the comment section below. If you want to see more squishies on this channel, let me know and also let me know what suggestions you have for them. Until then, I will see you guys next week.